Hello and welcome to the weekend edition of At Number. It is Friday, of course, TGIF. I'm so excited. There's something that comes with uh, weekends. You can see Tonya at the way she's looking. And of course, um, Eunice is not looking any different. <laughs> All right, um, a special welcome to the TGIF edition of At Number, where we bring you to speed with the headlines for the day. And afterwards, afterwards we bring you to speed with uh, the big story. Let's begin from the Punch newspaper this morning. My name is Ramsey Enoch, and this is Antonia Mokolo, and of course, Eunice. Well, the Punch newspaper is where we are starting from. NLC wants minimum wage April. Governors won against bloated demand. The details of that you can actually get on page three of the Punch newspaper and still above the header. I have this headline which says uh, on page 19, actually, States or federal government 1.7 trillion naira budget loans. I was wondering, state or in the federal government? All right, reverse used to be the case, but I don't know what's happening. A good news for me right here on the Punch newspaper, still above the headers, uh, above the headline, naira appreciates to 1,382 naira to one dollar. Presidency cautions speculators. The details of that you can get on page 19, but then something uh, usually happens. When the Naira appreciates and the price is so high to a dollar, the prices of commodity in the market also skyrockets. And if it drops, the prices of commodities don't seem to come down. I think of the market forces need to play out in the favor of um, consumers right now. Uh, bloodbath. Uh, states want monarchs against shielding suspects. Uh, page two is where you can get the details of that on the Punch newspaper. Then now, the big story. The big story is actually big this morning. Uh, what's the big story saying? It's about uh, state policing. Sixteen governors back state police submit reports to federal government to write us to that story quickly. Federal government awaits 20 states' reports, says NEC. Presidency source insists all governors want state police. Then the second writer to that story says incorporate state police into constitutional amendments, governors tells National Assembly. And that's going to be the size of the headlines from the Punch newspaper this morning. You can just walk to the newspaper stand and pick the Punch newspaper for more headlines. Let's move to Antonia for the next paper and the headlines. Thank you, Ramsey. On the Guardian newspaper, land grabbers, speculators wreck havoc on citizens' investment. And that's the big story. You can find it on pages four and five of the Guardian newspaper. Two students nabbed for faking the own kidnap in Lagos. This is this is quite pathetic. And that story is on page eight, Metro page eight of the Guardian newspaper. Population of displaced children hits 1.8 million. The details of that is on page 3. Terrorists kill 6, injure many in Kassina. And you can find that story on page 29. And on page 6, how Nigerian army will fish out killers of 17 soldiers by GOC 6 division. And that will be the size of the headlines from the Guardian newspaper. And here on the nation's newspaper, we have um, the federal government, um, governor slowing down work on state police. And also, you can find that on page 7. Also, um, it's a sad one for Ibadan, as Ibadan mourns uh, Ola Balogun as Makinde Ladoji visits family. And that you can find on page 5. And lastly, here we have, um, I won't seek ticket to run for Ondo governor says Jagede. You can also find that on page 5. Well, thank you very much Eunice for those headlines. Let's quickly move to the Daily Trust newspaper and see how trustworthy those stories and headlines will be. Okay, El Rufai's meeting with Ribadu. SDP Secretariat visit El Cid's reactions. I take that again. El Rufai's meeting with Ribadu. SDP Secretariat visit elicits reactions. All right. I don't know. I don't want to say anything, but something is on my mind. <laughs> El Rafai again. War on Gaza. U.S. calls for immediate ceasefire 
at UN. The details of that you can actually get on page 30 of the Daily Trust newspaper, still above the header. Bandits intercept bus kidnapped eight passengers in Castina. Bandits intercept bus kidnap eight passengers in Castina. Then the big story from uh, the Daily Trust newspaper says that thousands may miss Ramadan Umrah as Saudi Arabia fails to issue visas. Wow, this is unusual. Uh, two riders to that story, agents to incur losses after booking hotels. Agents to incur losses, they will incur losses. Well, after booking hotels, hotels being booked already, but then people may not find their way to Saudi Arabia because of the visa issue. Then the second rider says, a pilgrim's lament. And uh, finally, from the Daily Trust newspaper, please demand uh, uh, 5 million naira damages from Kano TikToker, Murja. All right. That's going to be the size of the headlines from the Daily Trust newspaper. Let's go on a quick break. After this break, we'll return back again for the big story. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back from that break. It is still outnumbered live on your screen on this beautiful day. It is actually the TGIF edition. And now, this time for the big story. When we talk about big story, you know what we mean already. The story is actually big on the Punch newspaper this morning. 16 governors, back state police, submit reports to federal government. Um, sometimes ago, or some time ago, there was an agitation for state policing as a result of the security situation in the country. Mm -hmm. Some persons actually kicked against it. But then, later on, the federal government and some uh, concerned Nigerians saw reasons why this policing is necessary, the state police is necessary. And now governors, who are the custodians of the state and the number one uh, chief security of the state, are now saying, well, it is a good one, and they've submitted their report. But then, some people are thinking uh, this state police might at the end of the day be turned to political tools, which may not uh, be to the advantage of Nigerians at the end of the whole thing. But then, what are you thinking? What's on your mind? I feel it's a good development so that um, the security situation can actually uh, be calm to an extent. Uh, my colleagues will add their voice to the conversation at this point in time. Amphonia, as it is yeah. right now, 16 governors, okay, out of um, 36, the 36 states. 36 yeah. states. Now, we've heard of state policing. This is not the first time we, we, we've heard of, about it. But now, governors are talking about it. And they said, it is a good development. But you know how it happens in, in our Nigeria. Country. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, um, it may not be what Nigerians are thinking, yeah. okay, they may be turned to political tools. And at the mm. end of the day, um, you, you remember when the IGP said, well, police officers should be withdrawn from uh, uh, some so-called big men who yeah. carry them Oddlies. about as <laughs> well, Don't you think this state police may be turned to something else at the end of the day as against the original the intention, the original intention uh, for peacekeeping, uh, working hand in hand with uh, the federal police and um, cop security? I totally agree with you, Ramsey, because uh, Nigeria, as we know, there are a lot of um, issues that we have as a country. And sometimes these persons in power, when they, when they are given this kind of power, they begin to use these uh, police officers as thugs in elections. Maybe they want to come back for a second term yes. to do their bidding. It will no longer be about uh, what they were actually meant to do. Mm -hmm. They will put their interest forward. So these people will now be at their fingertips. Do you understand? They will be the ones to issue control. Now that is a central, is a, a central. Um, every everybody reports to the IGP. 
it is the IG of the police that will tell the uh, policemen, do this or do that. The governors don't have absolute control. But once the governors have absolute control of the police, the police force will be turned into something else. There will be no, because once, the, the, there will be like, a, there will be division. There will be division because what is obtainable in, let's say, Abia State, for instance, would not be obtainable in Delta State or yes. Enugu State. You would see there will be a lot of irregularities once this is approved. And every governor would want to do according to what they deem right, not what the uh, police force has approved or the act or their constitution or whatever, not what is binding on them. Because they have. Because uh, they, they have the final right. say, they yes, have the they have the absolute right. These people are within their jurisdiction Absolutely. and all of that. But then, let me let me speak with you now, um, Eunice. Um, as it is, um, don't you think the vigilantes can actually perform whatever duty they may want the uh, state police to perform? Because like Sonia have said, and yes. I, I also concur to that, um, at the end of the day, you know, these governors are politicians. Yes. And sometimes, second term deed mm -hmm. and everything <laughs> possible and all of that. Yes. So what do you think? Don't you think the vigilantes can actually um, do whatever it is that they want the state police to do? Now, the question, the big question should be, who do the vigilantes report to? Are they professionals? What are they going there to do? Are the vigilantes just talks that were picked out from the streets and just put there. So we can say it's one thing for us to say that the vigilantes can do those works perfectly and we shouldn't be bring out the um, police down to um, do the work. But it is another thing for you to know if those vigilantes are professionals or not, if they can give the perfect work or not. So I, for me, I wouldn't think um, the vigilantes can do the work perfectly like the police. The police can do the work perfectly. Now, but just like um, Antonia has said, um, who do the police report to also? No, now, now they are clamoring for the state's governors. At least yes. 16 of the governors yes. have come out to say, you know what, we want this. We want to be in charge of the police. Exactly. So definitely is a situation where these uh, policemen will be under the governor. So instead yes, of having means. the inspector general of police, maybe the commissioner of police yes. for that state, yes. for that state's police command. But now the fear of Nigerians, where Nigerians are kind of skeptical, is would this now in turn come to bite us? Would it be Nigerians shooting themselves in the foot? As always. Yes, because we've seen a lot of administrations come in and yes. then they promise us heaven and earth. Uh, they end, end up not fulfilling exactly. exactly. Especially when these governors want to contest for another term. Another term. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's not like them for better right. Right. Yes. yes. How much <laughs> more you have people who are licensed to do it? Yes. You understand? And at the end of the day, who would you hold accountable? Who? Nobody. They say, who? okay, they said, you, you say, okay, the state place, we're the ones that did it. They are, they, they are, they are following they are instructions. The they, yes. <laughs> instruction came from the top. And you need to obey the last order. So sometimes I, I don't know the kind of meeting they had. I don't know the kind of meeting these governors had that they are now coming out to support. Well, let's see what the other governors will do. Would yeah. they also support? Uh, what research has been made so far by the federal government? I think so many things should be put into place. Yes. If this state police is coming for the good reason, good and fine. But if it is something else, then it may not be to the advantage of Nigerians. Exactly. Thank you very much, Antonia, for adding your voice to the conversation. Thank you. Thank and you. of course, Eunice, thank you for bringing your thoughts to the table. Thank you, sir. And um, we want to say, uh, have a beautiful weekend and think about this. All right? State policing. Do you want it or you don't want it? Whatever the governor say may not be the final until the federal government uh, consents to it. My name is Ramsey and uh, I want to say keep your tab on the channel always. Bye-bye for now and have a wonderful weekend.